In this video, we'll go over LeetCode question number 56, Merge Intervals. Given an array of intervals, where the ith element is another array that contains the starting and ending values of that interval, we need to merge all overlapping intervals and return the new result. For example, let's say this is the intervals array. If we visualize this on a number line, then this is what it looks like. We can see that the first two intervals overlap, so we would merge them into a new interval that starts at 1 and ends at 5. Next, we can see that the green and purple intervals overlap, but since the purple interval falls entirely within the green one, the merged interval will just be from 6 to 9, and we can ignore the purple one. And that's the answer. We would return an array with the intervals 1 to 5 and 6 to 9. So here's how we're going to do it. First of all, the intervals can be in any order, so the first thing we're going to do is sort the intervals by their starting values. This makes things easier since now we can iterate through the array in order. We'll start by comparing the ending value of the first interval with the starting value of the second interval. If the end of the first interval is greater than the start of the second interval, like it is here, then that means the intervals overlap. Since the intervals are sorted according to their starting values, we know that the merged interval is going to begin with the starting value of the first interval, in this case 1. But to find the ending value, we'll have to compare the end values of both intervals and take the maximum. Here, 5 is greater than 3, so the merged interval goes from 1 to 5. Then we do the same thing, but this time use our new merged interval as our first interval. Here, the ending value of the first interval is 5, which is less than the starting value of the second interval, which is 6. That means that there is no overlap, so we'll just add the interval of 6 to 9 to our answer. Then let's do the same thing again. 9 is greater than 7, so these two intervals overlap. When we compare the ending values, we see that 9 is greater than 8, so the merged interval keeps its ending value of 9. Now let's try implementing the solution in Python. Let's say this is the intervals array. As I mentioned, the first thing we're going to do is sort the array, and the way we can do this is by using the built-in sort method of Python lists. But how do we tell Python that we want it to be sorted according to the first element in each inner list? Well, we can do that by passing in a keyword argument that is a function that tells Python how we want the intervals to be sorted. If you're not familiar with lambda functions, I'd highly recommend you check out my video on Python lambda functions, and the link is in the description. But basically, this is a function that says, for each interval x, I want you to use the element at index 0, in other words, the starting value of that interval, to sort them. So using the starting values as the sorting key, we're going to sort the intervals in ascending order. We're then going to create a new list called merged, and initialize it with the first interval in the intervals list. So that's going to be 0, 2. Merged is going to be the list that contains our final answer. Then we'll loop through the intervals list using a variable called interval, and start merging. And we're going to use the same logic as we discussed before. If the ending value of the first interval is less than the starting value of the second one, then there's no overlap, and we simply append the second interval to our answer. Otherwise, we take the maximum of the ending values and make that the new ending value of our merged interval. Now, since we already initialized the merge list with the first interval, this first iteration will actually compare the first interval to itself. But it's only one extra iteration, so it's not really a big deal. I do it this way because otherwise, this part right here would throw an error since there's no inner list. If you don't like this, then you don't have to initialize the merge list with anything, but you'd have to add something like if not merged or to this if statement to make sure you don't get an error. But for now, I'll keep it this way because it's also a good example to show what happens if we have duplicate intervals. So this part will get the last element in the merge list, and in Python, we can do this by using an index of negative 1. So that's going to be this interval here. Then from that interval, we're going to get the element at index 1. In other words, the ending value, so that's 2. We're then going to compare it to the element at index 0 of the interval variable, so that's 0, the starting value. You can see that 2 is greater than 0, which means these two intervals overlap, and we'll go to this else block. This is where we're going to compare the ending values of both intervals, take the maximum, and make that the new ending value of our first interval. So right now, both ending values are 2, so this ending value stays at 2, and we just move on to the next interval. Again, let's compare the ending value of the first interval with the starting value of the second interval. This time, 2 is less than 3, which means there is no overlap, 
so we'll just go ahead and append the second interval, which is 3, 5. Next, the ending value of our first interval is now 5, since we just appended that. And the starting value of the second interval is 4. 5 is greater than 4, so this is false, and we'll merge the two intervals. When we compare the ending values, we see that 8 is greater than 5. So let's modify the ending value of our first interval to 8. Finally, 8 is greater than 5, so this is another overlap. Let's compare the ending values. 8 is greater than 6, so the ending value of our first interval stays at 8. And that's all the intervals in the list. All that's left to do is return merged and we're done.